Absolutely. And it's important to remember too, that for any of these ad backs to kind of make it through and still be included as your SDE in your final closing, that you have documentation to support where these expenses are, where they came from, and especially if you're doing some, you know, percentages and there's some uh, some crossover in the expense with other with another business, that's going to come up, and you just have to show some some sort of proof of it in due diligence. Yeah, absolutely, it's a great great point. The uh, a buyer, you know, it's it's one thing for us to say it's an ad back because it was a personal expense, but but a buyer is going to want us to verify that and validate it during due diligence. And so when as we're putting these deals together, we're making sure that we have um, the information to to support our our conclusion that these expenses are going to be non recurring and not part of the uh, business going forward. Uh, and then that becomes, that becomes information we share with the buyer after the deal is under contract. Something else to note too, the more complicated this is, the longer it takes for the buyer to verify this in due diligence. So if you're looking for a quick close and you've got a whole checklist of, of interesting or non-standard ad backs, uh, that may be a little bit, against your, or the antithesis of what you're trying to accomplish, because they need to verify all that. And it takes time. It's not just, yeah. you know, looking at a, you know, at a P and L and saying, okay, they, they want some substantiation and you have to go find that. That's not something that we as brokers have access to. So on the sell side, you've got to dig into, okay, well, how do I substantiate this? What does that look like? Is, you know, bank statement, is there some receipts, you know, digging into QuickBooks, uh, zero, whatever the accounting software is, having all that uh, stuff prepared can smooth, can, can make due diligence go much more smoothly. And it can also expedite the process, but it just takes time to review. Yeah. And we also see a number of deals where there are essentially no ad backs. The, the, you know, we've got uh, just the income from the business, the, the direct expenses of the business, you know, no, no owner salary, no personal expenses. Uh, Nate, you and I just looked at one, uh, either yesterday or today that was, that had, you know, virtually no, no, I think actually had no ad backs, um, very clean P and L. And, and so we see that frequently too. It's, it's, it's certainly just a, a, a choice of how an owner is, is running their business and their financial statements where, you know, we're able to work with, um, really with any, any style of, of management, uh, through our brokerage process. Um, but to your point, I think it, it, um, it's less for a buyer to do diligence. It, it is not necessarily a, a bad thing to have ad backs in your transaction because we, we do work with them quite frequently. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications about new videos and interviews. And introduce yourself in the comments. Are you a buyer or a seller?